Cause I actually don't think I saw it's the trailer for it. What? What do you want? Rules. This will be interesting. Jonas, where did you? What is happening here? I mean, they said Jonas, so it seemed like it's a direct. Oh, this is Riley, though. How did I get here? Is this another... <sighs> Let's see, where are we going? Who are you, brother? We, got, we heard Jonas. So, I wonder... Well, this seems like it's a totally different island, too. I don't know, like... Oh, so I guess that's how we change radio frequency, maybe? What do you got over here? That doesn't look too inviting, though, with the little mural there. Oh. Uh. Hello? Is anyone in here? All right. Everybody home? Well, now then. It also seemed like Riley was in a lifeboat, so... Uh, is anyone up there? Oh. What is happening up here? is enter oh oh who are you 1952 excuse me who who are you bury me oh where you can't see Hi! Come in, Riley. If you're there, pick up, please. Riley? And... Uh... Yeah, yeah, I'm... I'm here. Hi. Hey. Hey, hi! Thank God! I didn't know if you'd be in range. I'm Evelyn, an environmental researcher with the lab. Evelyn, Welcome okay. Welcome to your first day on the job. 8 p.m. I'm sure Leslie went over this stuff with you already during training and orientation, so forgive me if I repeat a few things. You're just going to be planting transmitters along the coast to help us study anomalous frequencies. First of all, can you hear me okay? Over. Oh, uh, I can hear you fine. Yeah, I can hear you all right. Um, over. Awesome. Leslie probably told you, we're an environmental group. Local governments will contract us to study the effects of deforestation or noise pollution. But my specific area of expertise is in strange or otherwise unique natural phenomena. Can we get some seafood? Gravity, ion winds, you know, stuff like Hey, I thought they closed down the seafood place out here. Oh, uh, Seafood Sammy's. Yeah, that's... I think it's under health code probation or something. Okay. So anyways, the Never group mind. I work for seeks out explanations for certain natural phenomena. And inexplicable signals have been disrupting radio and comm frequencies in Kamina for I'm going to wait until they're done Your talking. transmitters will relay these signals back to us for processing. Understand? Uh, Over. got it. Okay. All right. That uh, makes sense, I think. I think I remember doing something like this in a high school science class. Yeah, it's a little weird, right? Hopefully this sort of thing is interesting to you. Your transmitters and climbing gear for the rocky terrain are being held with the very polite manager of the general store should be right in the center of the harbor go get them Fair and enough. call me back okay oh and before i forget uh you have a walkie talkie you'll be using it to keep in contact with me and anyone else you need to chat with uh, do you need me to go over the basics 
of how to use it? I don't know how to uh, use it. Nope, that's alright. I think I got the hang of it. Over. Alright, great. Okay, I think... I don't trust her. Everything. The guy in the beginning well, told me not to. Meet you, Riley, even if not person yet. Let me know when you got your gear, okay? General store. Okay, over and out. Last stop to Washington, they said. An hour from any town, they said. Ugh, I just cannot believe I forgot my headphones. <laughs> General store. This is weird because it's like different buttons now, so I don't know. Um... That's a street market. Worm place thingy. What about over here? Because there's no uh, like map. Tickets <laughs> for the ferry to Edwards Island. Children under seven must be accompanied by an adult. I wonder how many. Or at least the map button is now the um, weekends touring bird radio colonies. button. Okay, here you go. General store. Who's the who's the manager here? Oh. Huh. Doesn't look like anyone's here. Uh, I should probably call Evelyn and let her know. Close. Back Wednesday. Are you kidding? What is this? A flyer? Learn about our free soul body health class. Luna has the power to heal. Join parentage. Keep to the stars, blood, moon, tide. Okay. Huh. Hey, Evelyn. Is there like another general store nearby? Because there's nobody here, so I don't know what to do. Over? Ah, oh, crud. Okay. He must have closed early. This isn't a deal breaker, though. Just head up the hill on your way to Camber Cave. Your partner, Jacob Summers, is having some car trouble, but he's got a transmitter Jacob you Summers. both can use for tonight. Over. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, okay. Uh, but what about the climbing gear? Don't I? Uh, don't we need that? Well, if Jacob gets his truck fixed, that'll help mitigate the need. But regardless, we'll have you do a simple one tonight. It doesn't require climbing. Tomorrow you can start on the bad boys. Fair enough. Sorry, Riley. Uh, one sec. That can't be right. Anything happening? Those readings don't. Hey, uh, Evelyn, is everything all right? Sorry, Riley, I gotta go, but uh, real quick, you have your map with you, right? Pull it out for a second. Uh, okay. So, oh, Jesus. You can see, there's a lot of land to cover, and a lot of it is inaccessible unless you have climbing gear. All those rocks and cliffs and crap are too dangerous without rope and anchors. But Jacob's still at Copper Creek Trail, northwest of where you're at right now. Take the road, and you'll get there pretty quick. Fair enough. That's a big old map. That's a lot bigger than the other one. Also, by the way, your map has a lot of useful information. Don't be afraid to whip it out if you ever get lost or forget what you're doing. Okay, I'll call you later when you're with Jacob. Thanks, Riley. Over and out. Over and out. Some of these postings are pretty old. God, 20 bucks an hour for a babysitter? If she doesn't fly through the chimney with a school of singing penguins, that's a total ripoff. <laughs> Honestly. Anything over here? No? Fair enough. Okay, let's go meet our partner, Jacob. Get on out of here. Go to the Copper Creek Trail. So this one's definitely different in the sense that the first one was more about, like, high school... Students like they all at least knew each other here. Everyone's a complete stranger It's also weird that Riley is meant to be doing a lot of things and even she's not aware of what she actually has to do You'd think this would have Been covered in training or something But whatever Missing Lucy Pasterson age seven born 1979? This has been up for a while. Yeah, well, it yeah, definitely did. I don't know what... California kid. I don't know how long ago 1979 was in this world, but... Probably dead. Hello, Jacob. Hey, uh, so sorry, but are you... Jacob? Jacob Summers? Oh, hey, yeah, I I'm Jacob. Which makes you, uh, Riley? Evelyn let me know you were on the way. 
uh, you, you, you kind of caught me in the middle of... <laughs> this is embarrassing. I can't get my truck to start. Oh. Yeah, this uh, was going to be our ride around town for the job, but... Oh, God, don't be embarrassed. It's not your fault, right? Or maybe it is. You know it takes gasoline in the little hole over there, right? Oh, that's what that meter with all the slashes means. Seriously, though, I have no idea. Can we can we try something real quick? What's up? The key's in the ignition. Could you just start up the engine real quick? Uh, sure. Trying to see if it's the, uh... Um, sure. What the hell? Oh, thanks. It's just... I don't know what the issue is. Oh! Crap. Oh, okay. Uh, tur turn it off. I wonder what happens if I didn't yeah. turn it off. <laughs> well... Thanks. I won't even try to explain what happened. Oh? I can't even pretend. Oh, that's bad, right? That's not what we want? No. That's not what we want. I think we can call time of death on this one. Riley and Jacob, Rip. did you guys meet up yet? Uh, this is Evelyn. Over. Oh, Jacob I and Riley here. Evelyn. Yeah, you got Riley and Jacob here. Over. Okay, great. Hi, Jake. Jake's great. He's a handyman regularly, but we were lucky to get his help with this. Your truck ready? Uh huh. Ready to go? Uh, not yet, Evelyn. Jacob's truck was struck down by a mysterious illness. I think the engine's fried. Is our first transmitter point far? Over. Uh, kinda. It's Camber Cape. We want to try and get as much over-air traffic as we can. I huh? see now why you asked if I had an all-terrain vehicle. Yeah, it's a lot easier with a ride, but... Wait, a bit of a climb? Like we're scaling a mountain or a really big hill or what? It's, it's more like a steep hike. You two are going to be planting transmitters all around Kamina. Fair Jacob, enough. You have transmitters, right? Uh, just one. Riley, I'm strapped for space, so uh, could you grab the transmitter? I do have oh, the backpack. I do have the backpack. I promise I won't think of you as our pack mule. Then why even say that? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. If we survive. Okay, guys, I feel good about this. Really. Jacob, Riley, have any questions? Um, nope. I don't think I have any questions, no. All right, guys, good luck. Let me know if you run into any trouble or have any future questions. I'll be on most of the night. Thanks, Evelyn. Talk thanks. to you later. All right, Evelyn. Uh, thanks. Uh, bye. <laughs> uh, Riley, real quick before we go. You see that radio on my truck? Uh, can you grab it? Sure. Sorry, but I, I kind of got my pockets full. Uh, yeah, sure thing. What I'm missing? I'm being the pack mule. Hey. Oh, thanks. I tried out. This far from town, we won't get the whole range, but I think we can get the uh, local baseball game. Tune it to 93.7. 93.7. Uh, yeah, okay. Just give me a sec. 93.7, the cheap seats. This is David Rattler. Bottom of the now 10 for the community crayfish. Still all tied up. Well, I used to watch crayfish games. With Imagine sitting through nine innings of a baseball game in 0 0. That's wild. But, uh, thanks. It, it sounds great. What is that run? Okay, my foot can't What was that run? run? Shouldn't take too long. I went to high school with people like you. I don't know if I want to spend time oh, on an uh, island with you. Evelyn. She's she's a little funny, right? Eh, I don't know. Maybe it's because I grew up around them. But that particular breed of small town, something... I'm a little nostalgic for it. <laughs> yeah. N not that it's a bad thing. Definitely hey, not like I, it's a bad I, thing. This is a really stupid time to bring this up, but, but when I heard your name, Riley, I... Well, do, do you remember junior year? This is Osmore's English class and uh, PE fifth period. We, we went to high school together. I dated your friend, uh, uh, Patty. You know, Butter Patty. I'm sorry, what? We ran in different circles, but I just wanted you to know that I knew we knew each other. That's all. Yeah, yeah, no, of course. G good to see you. 
Oh, that's awkward. Yeah, you too. So, uh, hi, I'm Jacob. Nice to meet you. Uh, first day on the job topics. I'm what you call an independent contractor. You know, light fixtures, building a deck. Conversation but will I signed continue. Up for this, okay. Partly because of how weird everything's been. I like that it continues. Nope. Maybe? Evelyn won't get into it, but you can tune into super strange stuff if you know how to find it. Evelyn won't get into it? Won't get into what? What do you mean? Well, it, it's not an official part of their study, some of this. It used to happen just on Edwards Island. It was oh, a sort of Edwards inexplicable audiovisual phenomenon. Using any old radio, you could tune into physical objects. I'm curious uh, if we'll get readings from the island. Okay, remind me... What's so special about Edwards Island? Isn't it like a tourist trap? Oh, it was. Still is, kind of. But people aren't really allowed there anymore. The hours are really limited. But uh, it was Fort Milner for decades, an old World War era bunker and military base. There's a lot of I like stories. that they're bringing it up. But anyways, the effects, though, that radio effects has kind of bled from the island to around here now. So how but far I, away are I'm we sorry, from Fort Milner? This stuff. Super nerd techie. Wapiti Trail, day hiking and biking only, sunrise to sunset. Wapiti means deer. Actually, it means elk. Elk are mountainous, deer are grasslands. And Wapiti's an Americanization of a Cree word for elk. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. <laughs> anyways, yeah, the radio weirdness. Uh, where are we going? I think we're going all the way up there. You'll be being able to tune into things. Does, is Edwards Island, can we see that anywhere here? Or are we just like very far? Um, yeah, I think we might just be very far. Okay. It's kind of, uh, 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 slow up. Be careful around those logs. Sometimes it rains and stays slick overnight. One step just at a time. Just take one step at a time. What's, uh, what brought you back? Uh, right? Or? I, I just needed a reset, I think. I've been, in hindsight, I haven't really planted roots in any one place or in any one thing or in anybody even really <laughs> and it's not like i can get away with that forever especially now oh no i hear you i'm, I'm kind of the opposite i never left never really um, explored or i i mean i've been on trips and stuff but you stayed because you like it right amina i am content but you'd never know how content you'd be if you did things differently right fair what's this oh that we have some off-color people living this far out from proper civilization there's a group in town that performs uh, nature rituals you'll see evidence of it dotted around that this could terrifying. be done. go 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 riley Whew, uh, this parts this little Climb on up. When it comes to, like the visuals and everything, kind of like the the art in the background, it's definitely an upgrade from the first one. Like it looks really oh, nice. Oh, wait up a minute. There's a bench over here. Oh, the first one was also still like really good. Can we just take a quick second? I mean, I guess. Don't go flirting with me now, buddy. I just need to rest my feet. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We can take a minute. <laughs> I could use the break too. Oh, thanks. Just till my toes stop throbbing. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you pick a job of doing something like this if you it can't be a really nice night. climb for an hour? Oh. Uh. <clears throat> my uh, dad and I walked these woods before. I was five or six, and we were coming up to the entrance to the uh, the park, and I saw something off in the woods, something that. I just remember it made me slip and fall a little, and my dad, he, he pulled me back so I wouldn't go off the ledge. He hurt my shoulder, and I had to go to the hospital. I've actually... <laughs> I've actually always hated these woods. <laughs> I didn't even remember that I hated them until now. What a story to tell. Yeah. These woods will kill you if you let them. <laughs> yeah, no yeah I mean... You trip, you fall, you get a tick in your boot, a rattlesnake in your hat. 
the existential dangers start to add up. Yeah, that and other stuff. Oh. Nope. All right. Thanks for the stop. Let me catch my breath. Let's go. This is like similar to what I did in Hawaii. Like the steps that just go up. And that. That was torture. Because I was like 30 pounds heavier. Oh, they're running it too. Right, we're getting Fair close. Enough. Just over the crust, there should be a clear enough spot for the transmitter. Hours, sunrise to sunset. Used to be open to like 10, but someone spotted a bobcat a couple years back. Limited the hours. Closed. <coughs> locked. Hopefully we didn't have to go there. And locked. Damn it. What the hell do I do? Huh. I don't know another way around. Maybe we should call Evelyn. Tell her we're at a bit of an impasse. Fair enough. Sorry this turned into a bit of a headache. I totally forgot that they locked parts of the park up after hours. What would I say I screwed up? Hey, uh, Evelyn, this thing is closed. Or locked. The way to the summit. Closes at sunset. Okay, uh, that's not ideal. See if you can, um, uh, I don't know. Stupid small town crap. I'll bet the bars close at like 2.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> gotta get that thing placed up top, so... Uh, get creative. Over and out. Get creative. I'd rather avoid tetanus, so no climbing this one. Don't forget about Mercer. What the hell's Mercer? Heh, <laughs> never would. Looks like the lock's on the other side. Huh. I'd say let me boost you over, but that barbed wire says otherwise. Uh, is there something that we can like bring down from up here? No. This or nothing. Oh well, that works too. Why not? It is a uh, a proper climb, though. Coming with? Mountaineering isn't exactly on my CV, so uh, knock yourself out there, champ. Fair enough. Uh, f figuratively. Come open up the gate after your topside. Jesus Christ, that's a, that was a leap. That is a jump. Like, those weren't tiny. <laughs> Fair enough, Riley. Especially that, that like, initial jump over that, like, abyss there. Hmm, forgot how pretty it can be up here. Considering... Hey, Riley, are you at the summit? There was, like, okay. no, um, room to run. Hey, uh, Evelyn, yeah, I'm at the summit. Over. Oh, perfect. So, when you plant the transmitter, you'll need to adjust it manually a little. I'm gonna open Just fiddle him with first. the dish so it aligns with the signal. You'll know when it happens. Sounds good? Over. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Got it. Great. Call me back if you get confused or anything. Over and out. Let's go open him up first before we place anything. Can I even open this? Oh, hey. You made it. Good job. You doubted me? Not for a moment. Let's go. Well, you grew up here, right? You ever buy that story about Edwards Island? About the, the submarine that went down near Fort Milner? The USS Kanaloa? Uh, casualty of war. It was a, uh, you know, a uh, casualty of war, right? The USS Kanaloa was the only American submarine downed in enemy combat in American waters. It happened right off the coast of Edwards Island. 1943, during World War II. But, uh, you know, some people don't fully buy it. Uh, don't buy what? What do you mean? They think it's a lie? Well, some people say it was friendly fire. That we accidentally bombed our own sub. Oh. Um. Uh, why would anyone think that? Oh, I don't know. Little discrepancies, little things, details of the story, not... Hitting exactly right. Sometimes things just aren't what they seem, you know? Fair enough. Oh, hey, little animal burrow. Oh, that's where we had a plant, I guess. Uh, I'd steer clear. Skunks are, you know, a thing. But, uh, any interest in the other, other story about the submarine? Is he trying to, like, sell me on this? 
Other, other? There's another story on top of us bombing our own soldiers? Do you believe in ghosts? Ah. Uh, uh, yes, I do. Sure. Some people, maybe even some people standing right next to you, think the crew members of the USS Kenaloa got lost on the way to the light, let's say. Um. Why not make that the official story? The tourism boom from amateur ghost hunters alone is... Well, you have heard the story, and even fewer believe it. But, uh, I don't know. It, it, it makes sense, if the radio wave strangeness is coming from there, right? I mean, Edwards Island is a weird place. You go there, and it's like your feet never really touch the ground. Couple that with an at least semi-questionable tale of maritime disaster, and you have yourself the recipe for a proper ghost story. Fair and, enough. Uh, I can believe it. Only because I played the first one. Look, I can believe it. I've seen crap that's hard to explain. Impossible to explain, even. So, hey, you tell me a downed submarine crew haunts the coast of Kamina, I won't argue. You're kind, but let's be realistic. But hey, ghosts, no ghosts, wartime accident, or a heroic defeat. At least we can both agree that it gets too friggin' cold out. <laughs> oh, I can barely feel my feet. Wimp. Wimp. It's a little weather worn, but this is nice. They used to have one of those coin operated binocular things up here. And someone kept sticking gum. Oh, whoa. See that? Over Edwards Island. Oh. Is that Ed Okay, that's nice. Storm cloud looks nuts. We don't usually get skies like this. Oh, wow. So we're actually not too far. Okay. Pretty. Whatever it is. Yeah. Pretty. Oh, damn, okay. Okay, so, the transmitter needs to be adjusted manually. Just move the, the thingy until the what's it connects to a source frequency. Oh. Man, you're really nailing the jargon. Hey, thanks. That's uh, three years of online adult education courses talking. I think you just have to point it so it catches the signal. I'm trying. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying. Just give it a sec here. Oh, bam. Right on yeah, Edwards it's Island. Great. I uh, think. Yeah, so should we call Evelyn? Maybe check with her if it's working? Oh, uh, yeah, good, good idea. Hey, uh, Evelyn, we did it. We planted the transmitter. Looks good on our end. Over. Hey, Riley. Yeah, the readings just coming in now. There they are. The signal's clear. You guys did a great job. Thanks. Oh, uh, hold up one second. Okay. This is a little weird. Uh, guys, tell me what color is the little light blinking? Uh Jesus. Oh. Wait, what is that? Oh. Do you see that over Edwards Island? Riley, do you know if is this is this right? Riley, what's going on? The readings are a little weird over here. Uh, Riley, is this normal? Something Riley, turn off the transmitter. It's What? Just turn what's it off. Saying? Oh no. No! No, 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 no! God, I can't believe this! Oh, the portal! Something's wrong with it! Oh, I was almost there! What is that touching it? Is it lightning? What? Wait. Is there someone who, who is she? She did something! Hello? She, whatever she did, fried our intended. Mom, come on. You tell me all the time, don't let the concerns of others concern you, right? Wait, who, who are you? Come in, Riley. If you're there, pick up, please. Um. Riley, answer, please. Over. Help.